Hello. Um, this is a sad weekend, really, because normally I would be up in Strokestown for the poetry festival over the Maybank holiday weekend, and so might you. However, it's not to be because of COVID-19. And it's particularly sad for me as the judge of the Percy French competition, because it is the 100th anniversary of the death of the great Percy French, and we might have marked that in some special way. However, it's not to be. And so I'm here to announce the three winners of the Percy competition. In third place is poem 4864, which was the only way that I knew who'd written it until I discovered that it is the splendidly named Flob Robertson. It's a poem called Shaken. It's an entry that really needs to be allowed, read aloud. It's got um, a driving energy, a great rhythm, some inspired rhyming, and the whole thing builds to a kind of comic climax. It's a poem executed with great gusto. In second place is The Man from Kathmandu, written by uh, Theodore Bernard Kung, uh, the permutation of rhymes that he has managed to find for two simple syllables, oo and im, is dazzling. Um, you know, congratulations on a real um, uh, tour de force by this writer. Um, no repetition creeps in. Stanza after stanza, he continues to be inventive. Uh, the story is ludicrous, it's farcical, and very funny. And finally, in first place, is the poem 4578. It's written by Celine Nocton, and it's called Ode to Manana Heron by the Ghost of Matt Talbot. And it's a concrete poem. So it's a rebuke to the women of Ireland for their drinking, and it's framed in the shape of a wine glass, which is very witty. Um, the poem begs to be read aloud, and it's a beautifully crafted diatribe in the voice of the late Matt Talbot. He accuses the women of Ireland of being the seventh greatest drinkers in the world, ruining their health, drunk as skunks. He begs them to pour the booze down the drain. Why? Because he loves them. Uh, the Pure Dublin twang of Matt Talbot's voice comes across. The rhymes are clever. The rhythm speeds up as he gets increasingly frustrated. And it's a very well-judged comic piece and the winner.